Every year, thousands of Japanese tourists come to visit Pearl Harbor. I've always wondered about their feelings after they tour the site. Aloha. It's an honor for us to have you here. We're very excited that you are here. During our visit, we met a group of Japanese high school students and their teacher who came to see Pearl Harbor as part of their international studies class. And there's a lot to study at Pearl Harbor today. On December 7, 2010, the doors opened on a new $57 million visitor center that has the welcoming feel of a college campus. The Japanese students toured its new museums, Battleship Arizona. Watched a video presentation and then took the boat ride out to the Arizona Memorial, where they observed a moment of silence. At the end of their visit, they presented a thousand origami cranes, a Japanese tradition that has become a symbol for peace. The student body president said he was not prepared for the power of seeing this site in person. え、I think many first-time Japanese visitors feel scared to go to Pearl Harbor. Dr. Eugene Yaguchi is a professor specializing in American studies at the prestigious University of Tokyo. Professor Yaguchi has made studying the Japanese response to Pearl Harbor a cornerstone of his scholarship, particularly the iconic Arizona Memorial. Memorials tend to be a site where national memory or national remembrance is focused. Uh, Pearl Harbor and USS Arizona Memorial is a place where one remembers those soldiers who died for the nation of the United States and reflect on the need for national defense, the importance of protecting one's country. By contrast, Yaguchi says the Japanese visitor comes to the memorial with an entirely different cultural context. The war that followed Pearl Harbor ended with atomic bombs being dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In total, an estimated half million Japanese civilians died during World War II. For the majority of Japanese visitors who visited the site, those who I spoke to always said, well, this is why we have to have peace. This is why we should never have uh, wars again. This is why we should never repeat the kind of war that we did in the first half of the 20th century. 